Well, today I'm going to do things a little different. I'm going to work in the ladies' journal, and I'm going to talk to you about what's going on here. What you see now is I just wetted my page and used uh, the Cardinage watercolor crayons and water, and now I'm applying a white acrylic paint over the top. Uh, on the left there, I just do some design work. That's the the back of the piece that's in, on the other side and right now I'm just working on one side of the paper because I may wind up actually offering these pieces for sale at some point so I don't want there to be front and back so here goes a, a little face I'm using soft pastels here I like to take soft pastels and blend them with water and use some uh, watercolor crayons and use some white acrylic paint and really get some neat colors doing that and then you don't have all the dust from the pastel but you have the color so that's what's going on there getting everything kind of blocked in at this point little background starting out with some white acrylic paint and then uh, adding the pastel again for color and uh, working all that in together just to get some background going which by the end that background is completely gone and now a little bit of white acrylic on the face to get rid of a lot of the pink I have in the flesh so this is my pit pens I love working with pit pens um, they work kind of like watercolors uh, you don't you don't get the same effect if you use them just on plain white paper with no uh, acrylic on it I, I they work better for me if i work on top of acrylic i can do a lot more blending but they have been a, a real fun tool to work with and especially when i'm doing uh, like the eyes. I like for the eyes to be very expressive and I'm able to get that with the pit pens. You can get all colors in pit pens. Okay, eyes are started. Here I'm cutting out a piece of my paper tape. For the nose, you'll see me use a lot of paper tape in this. Back to the pit pens, doing a little shading. Pit pens, when you use them on top of the acrylic, you can also go and add a little water. That's what I'm doing there, and kind of blend like you would watercolors. They're really a great tool. Now I'm just taking a watercolor crayon and getting the flesh tones going. Okay, here, uh, these are prints of vintage cards that I have. Uh, these are, the one I cut out of the heart is actually a card that was given to me when I was a little girl. So yes, every uh, vintage thing I have is authentic vintage from my childhood. So I'm uh, going to use that. That was another little card there that I like. I love the verse on it but I'm not going to use that in this because there's really not room but I love the little girl there on the left and the little boy with his heart and the little verse talks about finding a heart and it must belong to you it's real cute I'm probably use it sometime but I make prints of all of my vintage cards that I'm going to use or vintage anything so that I don't use lose the original and I can use it again and again if I want to so I advise you to do that so I'm just taking and tearing up some of these old vintage uh, card prints and uh, from old valentines and gluing them into the back I have no idea exactly where I'm going with this don't know that any of this will even show when I get done at this point in actuality uh, at the end you will notice really about the only thing left it shows is the little girl down in the left hand corner which is real cute uh, I, I just don't plan these things I just let them happen so using some Mod Podge here and gluing everything down uh, 
to get it secure. Now I decided to take a, a rake brush and just lightly go over all the background with red. I know at this point that red is not where I want to stay, but I want that hint of red. It is Valentine's Day after all. And so it's just, uh, just a light um, rake of the color there. Now I start with my paper tape. These are tapes that I, I make, and I have a little uh, workshop, a little five-video workshop on uh, making paper tapes, uh, all different things that you can do. As a collage artist, I love paper tape and have had so much fun exploring it and what you can do with it and where you can go with it. So here I'm using it on her little dress um, and putting them down. I keep putting the heart over there to kind of see where the heart's going to go, so I have no point in covering it all up. Save a little bit of my tape for something later on. And believe me, I do have plenty of paper tape. Okay, about to get it now. I'm just going to color in some of the blue places where the heart doesn't quite cover. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, acrylic paint there and smear it in. And then I'm going to put the heart down over it. A little bit of glue stick there and secure the heart down. Now what I have here, it's kind of hard to see in the video. You'll see at the end when you see a close-up. But this is paper tape that I uh, put white lace on. So it's blue paper tape with white lace that I'm putting around the heart at this point. I also got the book down a little bit there. Now just a little outlining. and This is where I use my little tubes of paint that you see that I use are just uh, diluted acrylics that I use in tubes and um, I, I enjoy painting with those. It's like drawing and painting at the same time. They are temperamental though. You do have to kind of learn to work with them. Now I'm cutting out some little hands, just some little oval shaped flesh colored paper there that's going to be her hands holding the heart. So now I'm going to put a little mouth on her. It's a little Valentine's mouth. And I'm going to take that rake brush and take some beige paint and just do kind of a wash over the background, tone down all that red that's going on. This is my paper tape. Again, I wanted to make a border. As you can see, I've got a lot of flesh tones going on in my, in my image. So I needed some contrast. So this is some paper tape I'm just going to put down as a border and give it some, uh, some contrast. Now the hair. The hair is always fun. I never know what way the hair is going to go. This is paper tape again, and I'm just cutting strips and putting down and kind of randomly see what's going to happen. Using some darker colors in the hair, again, because of all the flesh tones that are going on, I need some, some contrast.
the hair is always interesting because I have naturally curly hair myself and it, my hair kind of goes every which way so usually that's the way my girl's hair goes every which way some little uh, hearts those are just some hearts I painted on tape putting those down I have some hearts uh, cut out that I'm just going to randomly put down in the background Now back to the pit pens and kind of do some stuff with the eyes again. Get them uh, more defined. Okay, these are just some little round white labels you can buy at the office supply store of I like to use different labels, and here I'm just putting them down uh, as her little cheeks, little pink color on them. And uh, now for the fun part, uh, outline a little bit, and now to get that unruly hair going on. Um, the face pretty much covers up this uh, this piece of paper so I don't have a lot of room to go when I do a image with a smaller head on it I really like to get crazy with the hair and do some really fun stuff with it and this is fun so that's my little girl I think she's just really cute and uh, I hope that you've enjoyed listening to me talk about her it was kind of a fun different thing to do so here she is for you. Happy Valentine's Day. A Valentine for a dear little girl and guy. Hugs and kisses. And little girl peeking out over there at the left. Isn't she cute? Thanks for coming. See you later.